Welcome to Casual Wednesdays for July 9th. Is that correct? Is, that, is it the 9th? Uh, yeah, it Let's is. Let's go with 9th for July 9th, 2014. <laughs> I'm Jonathan Downen and Mike Fire, you are here. I am here over on this side. Right. And we are back to talk some games again in our fresh new format. Some video is going to be back there pretty soon. But we're going to talk about games we've been playing because not much news happened this week. We'll get to some of that. But first, what have you been playing, man? Uh, for me, I haven't played that much. I played some Divinity Original Sin, but I won't talk about that because I made a video about it recently. Um, we'll give and... some impressions. I mean, we know we know because we watched your feature. You are into them computer RPGs. I am a big fan. Yeah. yeah. But, um, okay, so just just real right off the top, I only played a couple yeah. hours. Um, but <clears throat> it's really cool. It's one of those... You know, uh, like I mentioned in the video, open world computer role playing games. Yeah. Just like those of yore, you know? And um, big open world, talk to everybody. The writing is pretty strong, so it's actually entertaining to read what the NPCs have to say. Mm -hmm. um, minimal voice acting, but there's a bit, and it's not bad. Uh, you can search any bin, pick anything up, move it around, uh, sneak around, kill people, all that fun stuff. All the. Uh, the tropes of open world RPGs, except like the ones that they used to make and not the ones that they currently make. So yeah, it's cool. It's really good. I can't wait to play some more. I'll probably play some more tonight. Sweet. Um, and other than that, I played... The only other game I can think of is Civilization Revolution 2. Okay, let's hit that in a sec. I want to stick on the computer RPG thing oh, for okay. just a minute. Because we got to talk about this Fallout thing again, real quick. <laughs> okay, okay, we're gonna. <laughs> I mean, still, man, no Fallout Three. Nope, uh, not into it. Yeah, not a fan. Yeah, I've played it. You know, I can't tell you. It's one. It's uh, Fallout Three is kind of like Game of Thrones to me. Yeah, I've played the first six hours of Fallout Three, uh -huh. like ten times. Say, right. I've watched the first six episodes of Game of Thrones like ten times. Never really, never really got into it's it. It's not doing it for you. No, the like, first time so, I played Fallout, I played through most of it. But then every subsequent time, it's only been a couple hours, and I'm like, I just nope, like not doing it. Mm -mm. Can you pinpoint what it is about like you that you like about the first one and second one that just like is missing in the third one? Is it purely uh, just the like first person approach to the whole thing, or it's just not? I don't know. It's not as fun. It's huh. not a. The, I don't know. The turn based. The turn based. Turn based action like combat i guess that doesn't really make much sense but turn-based uh combat really i don't know yeah. it really resonates with me for some reason mm -hmm. and uh the vat system i just i wasn't really that into i mean as fun as it is to make heads like heads explode and stuff yeah it's uh and i, n I didn't find anything about fallout 3 interesting nothing in that world was interesting and um i mean if you've played a fallout game in the past which i played fallout 3 first and i still i didn't think that was particularly interesting and then i played the first one and i was like wow this is that's, they really just aped this shit. So that's um, really interesting. That that makes me really want to go back and play play those and see what those are about yeah. because I know they're really beloved. And, I mean, uh, you stick you stick an HD patch on there, played yeah. in you know full resolution. Uh, the 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 HUD is really wonky. The uh, menu system is pretty shitty, but yeah. that's what you get from a game that came out in ninety what ninety seven or something. Yeah. A while uh, ago. For yeah. Sure. So I it's I don't know. The game is the game is really good. It's really really good. Um, and it's one of those things where you can just go and try to murder everybody in a town if you feel like it, and yeah. the map is gigantic. It's it's just a really good it's a really good game. It's hard to pinpoint exactly why it is. I think I just like that style of game better. But then there's stuff like Skyrim. I love Skyrim. Yeah. Um, I've played you know hundreds of hours of Skyrim for whatever reason. But Fallout, I just yeah, it's just not. It doesn't resonate the same way. But then yeah, unless it's you know isometric turn based. Right. Um, which is why I'm so excited for Wasteland 2. So, When's that due out? August 2nd. Right. Also pretty soon here, just a few weeks. Yeah. Well, yeah. I, I, like I said in the video, I kickstarted it two years ago. Two and a half years right. ago almost. So, yeah, um, you mentioned in your feature also that like you're, you know like it's in early access now, but you just want to wait to play oh, the yeah. full game. Hell That's yeah. how I feel about every single early access game. Like, there I just want to play the finished thing. Absolutely. You know, I, I totally agree. There are certain exceptions, like Minecraft, um, right. a purely systems-driven game that the point of it was we're going to keep adding and adding and adding 
It, but then there's and like and like Rust and DayZ, it's systems driven. So they keep right. adding and adding and adding, and like you want to be there from the ground level, and um, it gives you a sense of it. I don't know. It, it connects you with the game. You just like you get it because you've been yeah. playing it for so long, and you know what it was like before they had hunger bars and shit in Minecraft, and that's cool. Uh, and I love Minecraft and those kind of games, but then there's stuff that is story driven that they're putting out as early access, and I, I can honestly say I do not understand it. I just I don't get it. There is no yeah. world where I would want to play something like Wasteland 2 in early access. Like if they were to release uh, The Elder Scrolls 6 in early access, like no way. as much as I would love to play The Elder Scrolls 6 early, I just want to wait until it's out and then absorb all of it. You yeah. know. <laughs> That's totally. the way I feel. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, but console. I mean, uh, computer role playing games, man. They're they're coming back. They're yeah, good. I mean, they, sure. well, they've already come back. Uh. And if people are excited about that. Like, like, I put out a tweet about that today, and a lot of retweets on that thing, man. Like, people yeah. care about computer RPGs. And uh, I think Divinity: Original Sin, uh, in particular. I mean, we did see we did see a lot of people take interest in those types of games again with uh, Shadowrun Returns. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> it's not a game I particularly cared for. I don't think. I mean, the story just wasn't very strong for me, and I was I didn't really dig it. But the, I mean, the the turn based combat was cool. Um, I think I, I think for me for a long time I was just playing stuff like XCOM Enemy Unknown. I played the mm-hmm. shit out of that for so long, uh, yeah. just because I love turn based stuff. And um, and then there's uh, like Fire Emblem Awakening, and then you know even stuff like Civ where it's turn based. Uh, that's kind of satiated me for these computer role playing game yeah. itch without the role playing game ness. I want uh, an Advanced Wars. Oh that's man, that's what I want. Advanced Wars is give so me good. one of those. Give me a new one of those, Nintendo. Well, uh, I mean, the Advanced Wars guys are the guys who made the Fire Emblem game, Intelligent Systems. Oh, that's right. That's true. Yeah, yeah uh, they're right. actually working on an like a cross between XCOM and uh, something like uh, what is that? That PSP game, uh, and it was a PS. It was a the sequel came out on PSP. Valkyria Chronicles. Yes, yes, it is that type of game, and they're making it as codenamed Steam. It's a Nintendo game by Intelligent Systems. Oh, uh, yeah, that's right. That yeah. that was like their surprise E3 late E3 announcement thing. Yeah, it's yeah. a it's got an art style that I am completely uninterested in. I yeah. but uh, the premise, uh, the, I mean, the premise of you're an elite squad. You know, brought together by Abraham Lincoln in, in, the, in the UK, and then uh, turn-based strategy. That's cool. But um, yeah, yeah. Uh, speaking of handheld strategy, you played mm-hmm. some Civ Rev Two. Yeah. Just um, real Not, quick, I will just real yeah. quick talk about this. Uh, if you've played Civilization Revolution, uh, you know what that game is. This is that. Yeah. Just um, with, uh, I mean, the, there's 3D models in the game now. Yep. So that's a thing. If you played it on mobile, I think they were they were 2D before. Now they are 3D models, and yeah. there are more civs, and that's it. Yeah, I made that feature on on a uh, premium premium mobile titles last week, and I stand yeah. by that. I, I still want that. I, you I'm sold so me on this game, game Jonathan. Uh, you sold like, me on it. You suckered me into buying. <laughs> I wish it would have been better. I mean, like, yeah. but I'm still glad they're doing it, or and they still tried it. But like, it's kind of baffling that they would do release something as a sequel that, by all accounts, seems to not be any sort of sequel. <clears throat> it's uh, just like a prettied up version of the first game, minus the multiplayer, with with a, a bit of streamlining maybe to the interface stuff, right? Yeah, you know, they they really didn't do that much to improve it. It was really just gussing it up a little bit, which is the yeah. bummer about it. Uh and this is where I this is where I have an issue with with uh premium mobile games now. And I uh-huh. didn't I didn't have an issue before and uh but the problem is is that now in this space there are either ninety nine cent Angry Birds and these small bite sized games. Or there yeah. are free to play other bite sized games that nickel and dime you. You know, or mm-hmm. there are these larger titles that, whether they are actually larger or just appear larger or just look nicer, they cost you know ten, fifteen dollars. And that yeah. Monster Hunter game looks pretty good. It looks pretty great, in, by all accounts. The Civ, uh, the Civ Rev Two looked, it looked good. Um, the problem yeah. is, is that because they look good, 
they get that premium price. And, uh, I mean, they said they could have made it free to play, da 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 da, this and that, you know. And, yeah. uh, you, no, you could have made it $5 because yeah, this is not like, a game worth 15 It just seems like a real bad call in 2K's part. And it's especially disappointing because they put out that uh, pretty decent port of XCOM um, yeah. earlier last year. And I bought and that so, for 20 bucks. And uh, that is a, I'm 100% satisfied with that. That yeah. I, I own that game on too many consoles. Uh, yeah. But I was glad to buy it again for $20 on the iPhone, just because why not? That's such a good game. And that was great. You're right. So. And that game is $10 now, just standard pricing on mm-hmm. iOS. Which is so a it, steal. That's yeah, freaking crazy. I, I think I'm going to be picking that up pretty soon here. But uh, mm-hmm. I've been playing a bunch of iOS stuff. Surprise, Let's hear about surprise. it. Do it. Uh, yeah. So I'm halfway through G- GTA 3 again. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I don't know why I started playing it because I was like, oh, new iPad. I should probably see how this runs. Yeah. And then I'm halfway through it. Uh, that game's real good. It's still real good. And yeah. it's pretty It's pretty functional. I'm using just vir- virtual controls all the way through. There's some hiccups with that stuff, especially on, like, there's a sniping mission right before you leave the first island. That's a real bitch to yeah. get through. Well, I would with imagine with those touch controls, it's probably pretty rough. Um, but I've said it a bunch of times, and I'll say it again, but, like, I'm pretty okay with touch controls in general. Yeah. So if you're not, you may have a completely different experience. But that game is fun to just sit in bed and play on, like, a pretty decently sized screen and it runs really well and, like, loads really fast and in and out real good. It's 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 fun stuff. I think That's I'm going to cool. play through that whole series. That's actually uh, one of those, uh, between GTA 3 and Vice City, I prefer, their, I, uh, I prefer those over... Uh, over Grand Theft Auto 4 by a long shot. I agree. I agree yeah. with that. Like, 4 just got felt real sludgy. Like, everything about it just mm-hmm. moved kind of slow and was kind of heavy. And, like, yeah, those games are snappy yeah. in, a, in a real PS2 era <laughs> yeah. sort of way. GTA 5 brought it back to that kind of feel, but... Um, I think so, yeah. But, yeah, uh, I do prefer those. And I, um, I think I tried to play one of the Grand Theft Autos on iPhone. Yeah. And, uh... Uh, I, I'm not a big fan of the touchscreen controls. Yeah. I envy you I, I who can it. deal with yeah. it. That's a, it's just not. I, I guess it's just not a skill I have. <laughs> also, uh, it's probably a little bit better experience on a larger screen. Yeah. Like, on iPhone, how does it I feel? Probably... How does it feel to hold a to hold an iPad for that long though uh, and play with it? So uh, before this, and I, I had an iPad too, and I have an iPad Mini now. Mm-hmm. So like, I put in some serious time on the iPad too, playing these sorts of like long, longer stretch games, and yeah. that thing got real heavy. The, the form factor alone for the Mini is just way more comfortable. Uh, I, I can play for about an hour and a half until I'm like, I, I got to put this thing down. Because yeah. the way I'm holding it, I'll, like, I'll put it in the corners of my hands like this and like, you know, get, get this kind of thing going. Mm-hmm. And like, I'll get some circulation issues on on in my left hand for whatever reason just because i don't know the way you probably it's you know the pressure from because it's just like a straight line going right across your hand Uh, i would imagine that would probably get to you after a while so i just i was issues there yeah i guess i was just curious because um i feel like for games like you know uh i mean for these console role-playing or computer role-playing games you know and for xcom it's yeah. great because you can lay it down or lay it across your yeah. arm or on your hand and just poke at the screen. That seems like it'd be a great experience. For these other games where you're actively, you know, steering or shooting, you have to kind of hold it up. You know, you th- yeah. I, I would imagine your wrists would get tired after a while with the. Yeah, with the I haven't had wrist issues, but like, I I can't play any more than like an hour and a half, two hours. Yeah. I'm not going to play a full gaming session day. Yeah. On the iPad like that, no way. But, but that's not really my style. Anyway, except for the lone Skyrims of the world and stuff. Like, I'll play that for 10 hours, stretches at times. But, like, other than that, I'm, like, a two hours and take a break sort of guy anyway. So, so it hasn't been an issue. Uh, but I've also been playing Infinity Blade 3 because yeah. I really enjoyed the first Infinity Blade. I kind of skipped the second one. And then 3 came out, and I was like, it's, like, it's not going to run that super well on my iPad anymore anyway. Mm-hmm. And, like... I got this new one, and then, uh, anyway, I'm playing it now, and I'm kind of like being sucked into the loot grind on that thing too. It's that's pretty good stuff, um, but I enjoyed the first one. So if you're an Infinity Blade person, you're gonna like three, and that's where I'm at. So yeah, I've played. I I think I own all of them. I played yeah. uh, one a lot and two a bit, but uh, I wanted to go through them, but uh, I stopped <laughs> like a while yeah. into two, and I was like, eh, whatever. 
I mean, it's just that sort of, of loot lust situation. Yeah. No, and, they're good. They I, are good yeah. for what they are. I, I definitely, like, for the first one especially, I enjoyed the hell out of that game. Yeah. And um, it, you're totally right. It's 100% that loot grind. <laughs> yeah. And uh, I think that's it. I played through a little bit of the first episode of The Walking Dead just to see how that ran on there. Yeah. But, yeah. That's about it as far as I've played. So let's jump into the news. Well, real quick. I, yeah. I mean, or, well, let's just go on off on a tangent a bit here. Um, okay. I don't know how this is going to happen in the video behind us because yeah. uh, we can't put a Kids Back React there. video behind there. Yeah. But I did want to talk about that Kids React video about the Game Boy. And um, okay. you talking about yeah. uh, you and I talking about playing games on iPads and iPhones really made me yeah. think about this video. And uh, uh, just real quick for everybody watching this, all 10 of you, uh -huh. uh, <laughs> the, uh, the point of these videos is these guys show... Uh, young kids between the ages of like 7 and 13, they show them an yeah. old piece of technology and in this case they showed them Game Boy and they go through what it is and how to use it and how to insert cartridges and play games on them and um, no some notable some notable quotes that some kids had was um, well they said "What do you know what this is? And a kid said oh, isn't this an iPhone case? <laughs> so there's right. one um, somebody else said where are the apps? Yep. Another kid said, uh, "It. Why can't it sense my like the touch of my skin or something right. like that? You know, just yep. stuff along the lines of those." And um, then there was one kid. There's one kid, and this is what made me think about it when you were talking about touchscreen controls. Yeah. There's one kid that said, "There are too many buttons. <laughs> it, I will. I would rather just touch the screen." Yeah. That is the dumbest thing that that child could have said while playing Tetris. It's all they know, man. Oh. It's all they know. And that's the that's what I'm afraid of, man. I'm afraid of this world where, you know, because there's people who are, who are playing these games now and are like, I remember, you know, like, yeah. I played the Atari for a bit and I can't deal with this shit. There's too many buttons. <laughs> and I, I'm going to be that old man when I have kids and they're like, Dad, you want to play this dumb game on here? It's it's Call of Duty 12. Uh, Call of Duty 12 Advanced Warfare 6. And then I'm going to be like, great. I used to play those games when I was younger. Let me play, and then I like it's like full like you have to massage the screen to play it. I'm like, I'm where are the buttons, Jimmy? <laughs> there are no buttons, Dad. You just use your hands like you're scratching an like, old man's what's back. What's a button, Dad? Yeah, what's a button? Uh, <laughs> yeah, and, and you know I'm so, uh, I hate the thought that that's that's where it's going because there's just I mean I don't know that's so. Yeah, I don't know. We still got consoles. People are still playing consoles. I think we're okay. <laughs> too many buttons for, for Tetris. I mean, come on. Yeah. Uh, I mean, granted, a lot of them didn't even know what Tetris was. Yeah, some of them didn't. So. Right. I w you know, I will say I was uh, I was surprised where their point of reference was. I would have expected most of them to uh, reference an iPad or an iPhone when holding it. Right. A lot of them knew that it was an old DS or it was an right. old Nintendo game thing or it was an old yeah. Wii. They immediately drew, drew that conclusion based on the fact that right. they knew what Nintendo was, which just goes to show you these kids get it. And then at the end, that none of them said that they wanted to go play their 3DS. They all said, I'd rather play with my iPad, which, you know, whatever. I mean, I wouldn't. But why isn't it called a Game Boy Girl? <laughs> yeah. Well, that's you know what? That, that's a good point. And, uh, you know, as much shit as I, give, as I give people for, you know, wanting to be too much in the face of feminism, I, like, there's, there's probably a good, a good case to be made for there are reasons why the Game Boy, uh, the Game Boy does not exist anymore. And the 3ds does, yeah. which is, I com I completely support that decision, uh, yeah. because that, calling that it was, a Game Boy is not inclusive at all. That was eye opening, like because that the girl yeah. who said that was maybe like five years old or something, mm -hmm. or like seven or whatever it was, young, young. And I had uh, never so. crossed my mind. Yeah. So on to the news here, we got a couple smaller things that we're going to jam through here. First of all, uh, Gearbox has announced their latest. And surprise, surprise, it will be a take on the MOBA <laughs> genre uh, called Just Battle what we Horn. Needed. And here's, here's what uh, Randy Pitchford had to say about the game <laughs> in one tweet. Battleborn is, colon, FPS, hobby-grade co-op campaign, genre-blended, <laughs> multi-mode competitive esports, meta growth, choice plus epic Battleborn heroes, exclamation mark. And that's one tweet. That's one tweet. So <laughs> that pretty much explains. You know what it is, right? Oh, now? yeah, of course. He basically described tweet, half of the clear. genres in gaming right now. 
So it's some sort of like MOBA thing, you know. Yeah, it MOBA must thing. be. Uh, Everybody e needs Esports, it's right there in the tweet. E if it's esports, that means MOBA, right? Those are interchangeable words. I think at this point, yeah. <laughs> so, I don't know. We don't know anything about this at, at this point. As you can see back there, it's all just pre-rendered sort of teaser trailer stuff. And so, this is called Battleborn? Yeah, Battleborn. Uh, I like the art style, if that's what it's going to look, yeah. some, look something like that. So. And as an aside, cool. we brought it up before, but there is, uh, yeah. or before the video... There's a, a Bethesda game also free to play. Yeah. Um, basically, with the same description, it's a melee multiplayer focused combat game called Battle Cry. Battle Cry. Yeah. Uh, developed by Battle Cry Studios, published by <laughs> Bethesda. Yeah. Uh, so. What, the, uh, what, what are these games, though? I don't know. Also, a game that sounds exactly like Battle Cry. <laughs> Cliff Blazinski's <laughs> has announced his new thing, which is uh, his new company is called Boss Key. Yeah. And their project is called Blue Streak. And this is also an arena based combat game, possibly shooter, that is free to play. Also, Battle Cry is also free to play. And also, ba is Battleborn? Battleborn, they have not said about Battleborn. I'd be I don't willing believe. to put my balls on that bet. But this is a real underwhelming announcement out of Cliff Blazinski that was oh, talking yeah. up game about how he loved Minecraft and all that stuff like not too long ago. Um, I don't I mean nobody wants to hear free to play. No. Nobody wants to hear that. And uh, <laughs> not, I don't think so anymore. Not um, not that I was a huge Cliff Blazinski fan. Uh, I'm not I'm not the biggest on Gears of War or anything like that, but like He's a smart dude, and mm. may maybe the game will be awesome, but... Well, he had my know. hopes up when uh, he was touting the whole Minecraft, Rust, yeah. uh, getting a big community, a big creative focus. That was his, you know, was his, that was kind of his deal for a while, and uh, that kind of got me excited for whatever his next project would be, and uh, I guess it turns out it's going to be, uh, you know... Blue Streak. Blue Streak, which... Uh, first person shooter competitive multiplayer game surprise surprise you know and uh just like you wanted jonathan free to play free to play i'm sure and i'm sure there will be opportunities to buy blue gold blue streak man, gold streak bucks whatever. yeah <laughs> and like okay anyway that's that but yeah. uh also in the in the realm of what are these games and a slight <laughs> disappointment Epic is talking about Fortnite again because they released yeah. like a four minute gameplay trailer that shows that game. And at the beginning of the life cycle of that devel development on that game, Epic was talking Minecraft and like what seemed to be like persistent world sort of stuff. Yeah. But apparently this is just Orcs Must Die. At yeah. least that's what it looks like in the trailer. It definitely looks like Orcs Must Die, something like that. Uh, setting up a, you know, setting up your dungeon and having people come in and try to knock it down. Uh, it's... Yeah, like building fortifications, stuff yeah. like that. And like Orcs Must Die is a cool game, mm -hmm. but also that game was fifteen dollars. Well, I think and came I think Fortnite is actually ago. free. It's free to play. Oh, of course it is. Of well, course it's free. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Epic but, is now owned like, by Tencent, is, aren't they? Oh n yeah, they have like a majority stake or something like yeah, that. Yeah, and they are a very big Chinese free to play game publisher. So. Right. Right. That, I mean, that doesn't surprise me. It's just this. I like you were. I think you were going to say the scale of Fortnite is disappointing, yeah. to say the yeah, least. Yeah, it's just I was expecting the scope of it to be a little bit different. And if if it is just like an Orcs Must Die thing, yeah. that doesn't mean it can't be a good game. It's just not. It's the yeah. It's just the scale is not what I was hoping for. When you yeah. say things like Minecraft, I mean, and like, yeah, and there's stuff like Rust, which is. You know, you set up your house, and they, there's no traps and stuff implemented yet, but you set up your house, and somebody can come over and, you know, punch a hole in the wall or whatever, you, you know, and stuff like that. But this looks like it's more just multiplayer competitive maps, like, you know, just just um, right. matches against each other. And that's kind of not what I wanted at all. Yeah. yeah, it looks almost like a zombie mode in, like, Call of Duty, like, or, or something like that, like, just putting up your fortifications, but maybe, yeah. I mean, more of a more of a multiplayer approach to that sort of thing, but mm -hmm. uh, who knows? Yeah, I don't know. I, none of these games, I, I don't, 
I want to be surprised, but all of these games that we just talked about seem in the same wheelhouse, and that wheelhouse is one I do not care about. Yeah, what are, I think the, the real wheelhouse is, what are these games? Yeah. What are they? It's, we don't know. It's a weird thing. We don't know anything about sure. these. <sighs> but that is it. That is the news uh, for for this week. Uh, anything before we jump out of here? Uh, no, but just I guess all I can really say is, look forward to the future of video games. It's looking great. It's a lot of... It's a lot of um, you take two words, you smash them together, <laughs> you got a game. Battle Cry, Battle Born, Blue Streak, Fortnite. Oh, Fortnite's a word. Warface. So, Warface. War, War There's a good one. I, you know, whatever. Um, and and just like you asked, it's free to play. We know you're broke. Yep. So, but there's that option to give us a thousand dollars. I I'm just waiting for Unreal Tournament. I hope that's cool. Yeah. Well, you but, know, I feel like. Their their model seems a little better because it's a free game, and if you want add-ons, like if you want extra modes that are made by the community, you buy yeah. it, and then they take a commission. Cool. Yeah, this seems like it be, could be cool. Yeah. But uh, that is it for us this week. Uh, thanks for watching. Be sure to check out all of our other videos, features every uh, Tuesday and Thursday, Quick Hits Monday, Friday. Uh, slight refresh on the old uh, YouTube channel page there. Check that out. So let people know. Uh, let people know about our content, and uh, we will love you forever. Video games. Video games. So that's it. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you right back here next week. See ya.